Hello and welcome to Purian Flax in the Morning, Series 2, Episode 2. So, uh, day two, and it was a good day. Started off early, early meeting. Um, and I mean it was like 8.30, which was pretty early, I guess, but I was up at 4.30. Today I was up at 5.30. Every day it improves by an hour. So, um, I guess yesterday was our first full day. And the players basically just did nothing but play Dota. There's a big practice area. We had the meeting where they were told about their responsibilities for TI4. Um, and then they all just scrimmed and played. And it should be good. All the games are streamed in the dining room downstairs. We talked about multicast, which should be good. Uh, basically, it's uh, is it called Red Zone, an NFL thing? Anyway, I don't... I don't watch the NFL live so much, I tend to watch highlights and stuff in the UK. But Bruno is going to be, a, whichever guy does that for the NFL, it's going to be like that. It's going to be quite tough for him. But he's going to do it. And we're going to drop in. Like, random people are going to drop in. Should be really good. Um, we went to Safeway. Safeway used to exist in the UK. I think it was eaten by Morrisons. Um, and now it's a really nice supermarket over here. But, I got fucking ID'd buying a crate of PBR. I know PBR, buying PBR will offend a lot of people, but uh, I like bad beer. I do, I like beer that's basically just alcoholic, sort of sweet, slightly sweet water. That's why I like cheap cider as well. Um, yeah, all that really heavily flavoured beer is just, I'm sorry guys, I know I've lost a lot of respect already, but I've lost even more, but I'm, I'm not a fan of it, but anyway. So, uh, yeah, I got ID'd. She's like, do you have any ID? I said, no, because I'm fucking 38. Like, look at my face and the wrinkles and the grey hair. I have pictures of my kids on my phone. What 20-year-old do you know does that? Uh, and she said, uh, I'm sorry, sir. We have to ID everybody that looks under 40. Uh, I said, so basically, it, they, they, they don't give their, their cashiers anything less than a 20-year gap of people. They say, anyone that looks within 20 years of being illegal you card them. Because God forbid that we should sell booze to someone who's not 21. Fucking ridiculous. The casting schedule. Morning games will be handled by myself, uh, Blitz and, and Shane. And afternoon or, or early morning, sort of late morning games, whichever one, how it works out, will be handled by uh, Sunsfan and Purge. Um, we're really looking forward to it. Um, I've come up with a few uh, names for the, the stream, because so far they're calling it the newbie stream. That's got to change. Um, the noob tube, I thought sounded better than the newbie stream because it's alliterative. The casual clusterfuck. Um, or uh, the Pyrrhon Flax show. Just see how it fits. Just wear it, walk around in it. Um, get well soon to my friend Honk. She is having a lung operation or something like that. And she was going to come to TI4, but she can't make it. I'm very sorry because she's cool, and we were going to wrestle. And now, I mean, she's in no shape. She's not in wrestling shape. If I sound a little fragile, it's because we had a, a, the, what they call the players' dinner, uh, but commentators and casters and, and people like that were invited as well at uh, the Gout Show here in, in Bellevue. Uh, and it was free cocktails, and I may have had a few too many margaritas. Um, uh, but it was fun, I had a really good time, I learned some stories about Bulba that if I told them, I think, um, he'd probably, well, I wonder if there's one I could tell. What do you think? What do you think, Sam? Could I tell the one about, uh, actually probably not, probably best not. Um, I beat Andy and Cinderin, uh, at pool until they wept blood. I mean, You've never seen a couple of more pathetic um, pool players, and quite honestly, I expected better from someone like Cinderin. Um, Andy, I didn't expect anything from because he's pathetic, but uh, Cinderin, you know, when you're in a bar playing pool, that's a time for grown ups and it's a time for maturity, and uh, frankly, they displayed nothing short of. I don't know what the word is, but it made me want to puke. It really made me want to puke, and uh, I'll never play them again. Um, Gabe Newell was at the dinner. Um, it's very weird being near somebody that wealthy, because you assume that they have magical powers, uh, or that they're going to, like, make it rain, 
or that they're going to somehow levitate like the guys in that movie Chronicle. Um, but he's just like a dude who just came in with his kids and his family, I guess, ate dinner and then left like anybody else in a restaurant. But I kept expecting to uh, to him to hop up on a table and command us all to drop to our knees and and worship him. But um, he didn't he didn't demand that because he's a cool guy. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a little fragile this morning, but it's 6 a.m. We don't start for three hours. I'm just going to drink a shitload of coffee and water and I'll be fine. Breakfast. Yesterday we went to Palomino's for breakfast and I had eggs benedict and I was told that this was a fancy breakfast and that I was trying too hard. That was Andy, I think, that said that. I kind of got a problem with Andy. I can't believe I convinced him to come to TI. I might try and talk him into fucking off. <laughs> Why am I being so mean to Andy? I can't keep that up. What else happened? I spoke to Shiva. I learned some awesome cuss words. I spoke to Blitz. He's nervous about the cast. He should be. Oh, that's the fridge. If you heard something, just tick into life. <laughs> Because I bought a crate of beer, Purge said to me, you know you can ask the hotel to bring you a fridge. I was like, what? He said, yeah, they'll just wheel it up to your room. So I asked for a fridge. And they, they brought me a little fridge. And uh, the only bad thing is, I was taking a poo when the guy tried to deliver the fridge. So he knocked on the door and I said, who is it? And he didn't answer. And then he knocked again. And I was in the toilet, which is right next to the door. And because I'm alone, I just left the bathroom door open. So I had to hold hold off the poo, because I didn't want him to hear me pooing. So I was like, on the toilet. And then he waits a second, and he calls out, I have a fridge. And I said, just a minute. And I'm thinking, can I poo quickly and silently? I'm thinking, generally speaking, you either just rush that shit out, and it sounds like a stampeding army of pigs flying into a swimming pool or you hold that in wipe sort everything out get the gut fridge in and then try and repoop and I thought it's not worth it so I just said to him can you leave it there and he said yep and then there was silence now it's because the corridor is heavily carpeted and his footsteps were just lost in the carpet but I thought maybe he was still there so I waited a full two minutes, desperate to poop. I'm in mid-poop. I mean, that's, you know, you don't want to cut that off. That's like a fascinating conversation. You don't want to interrupt it. And so I was waiting. I was thinking, has he gone? Did he hear me say, leave the fridge and fuck off? Or did, I, did he think that I said, I'll be there in a minute or something like that? And when finally I just was so desperate, I thought, fuck it. If he wants to stand out there and listen to me taking his shit, so be it. And, uh, of course, he, he'd long gone. But, um... The fridge is good, but the poop was, was less than satisfactory as a result. Chests. Not these kind. The kind that you can uh, open. I have yet to fire up Dota while I've been here because we've been really busy. And Phenol tried to explain to me how the chest thing works. I know I had to take a picture and give that to him, but to all of you out there who are expecting people's like chests to result in a better drop rate or something. The only one that they confirmed has a better drop rate is my one. So if you buy my one, you are far more likely to get a good item like the Doomling. Nobody else has the Doomling, just my chest. That is 100% true. You can ask anybody. Um, also, um, thank you to everybody that's bought one, and I'm sorry to those of you who've already had to drop 10 or 20 bucks to get the Doomling and failed to do so. But like I said, I mean, if you were buying, say, Shane's uh, or Blitz's, then you'd be spending thousands of dollars before you got even one item. They're, those chests, they're just open, and all you get is a picture of Shane laughing. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. So this has been kind of a weird episode because I'm a tiny bit hungover, um, and I'm thinking about breakfast, and we start casting today, so a little bit of nerve setting in because I don't want to, you know, fuck it up or whatever. And we're casting at the Valve offices, so... Uh, I will try and take some pictures of the Half-Life 3 stuff in progress because they basically just leave that all out in the open, just like drawings, blueprints, the plot, 
Um, so I'll just I'll be in there like James Bond. I'll take a load of pictures and post them straight on the internet. Um, I mean, everybody just walks around talking about Half Life Three constantly. You know, that's it. You, you the, the 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 lady at the reception. She says, "Are you here to see Half Life 3? I, I mean Valve. So it's kind of ridiculous. The uh, obvious. That's not true. I don't know why I'm talking shit today. It's because I'm on my own. I'm stuck in a room by myself and I just make shit up. Anyway, get well soon, Honk. Get well soon, anybody else out there that's sick. Um, as one guy on Twitter said, Perian Flax is the worst caster. He's like a child with crayons who eats them rather than draw. I think that's probably my favorite summary of me ever. And uh, frankly, <sighs> that dude can kiss my fucking scrote. So yeah, good luck to that guy kissing my balls. Bye, guys.